that I was too fully roped off this morning. My arms just started shaking. It's not always sunshine rainbows, it's not always fun. Ooh. Could change your life. Hello, good morning, what is going on? Welcome back to another video, or good afternoon, I should say. We are around two weeks away from a Grand Prix. This week's pretty exciting. Our preparation for the Worlds has like ramped up massively. We're getting a lot more competitive, a lot more sparring. We started altitude training, which is pretty cool. Basically, imagine yourself locked in a normal room, air conditioning units up the top with no oxygen and just like a constant flow of recycled air. It's very interesting. I'm enjoying it, it adds a bit more of a different dynamic to training. Bit more exciting. I'm really enjoying it, it's going really well. The first week was quite tough. I went in there and my breathing was like, nope. Didn't want to cooperate, but we're getting better. This week we have fight night, it's red v blue. Uh, we're hosting our own little tournament competition fight evening on the Friday. Uh, the Spanish team are coming over to obviously compete and help us guys prepare, so that's gonna be great. Have new training partners in, GB versus Spain. That'll be such a good evening. The weight cut started for Manchester. I've had a couple of weeks to enjoy myself. I was ill last week, I caught the flu, and ugh, it ripped me off for like a week. I, I feel like it was a blessing in disguise because it made me stop eating. Like It got to a point where I was just eating a ridiculous amount of food and I just couldn't stop and I couldn't control myself so yeah that's what's happened that's why I've been a bit quiet uh, and also I got sent which you guys don't actually know about yet but I've had for a little while where's it gone okay so I'm excited to share with you fit track so I've been using fit track for a little while now to track my progress leading into competitions now these weighing scales are literally like no other. I don't know if you've heard of a DEXA scan before. But it's basically a scan where you lie down and it gives you every little detail you need to know about your body composition. Muscle, fat, water, bone density, all the sciencey stuff that provides you. Now that costs around £130. But FitTrack do the exact same thing. Why do I prefer this to any other weighing scales? I need to make weight. So I step on the scales every morning and I weigh myself every day. It gives you a far more in-depth analysis of your body composition. So... These are little electrodes that send signals to your body and gives you feedback. I wake up, step on the scales, it does this little dial and then all the information is sent straight to my phone. The FitTrack app itself gives you your body mass index, which is your weight in relation to your height. Weight without fat, so that means all your lean tissues or your lean body mass, that kind of thing. It tells you a percentage of body water and is a more accurate reflection on how hydrated you are. So I like to step on the scales in the morning, have a look at this number. If I am leaning towards the low side, I'll be a bit more switched in throughout the day to consciously drink a bit more. And while I'm on that topic as well, another thing that is really cool is FitTrack can actually set notifications to remind you to do things. I don't know if you can see it here, but I had a notification at 12. Ooh to remind me to drink um, because I do go for long periods of time sometimes where I just forget. So having those little handy notifications, even if you're one that tends to forget to drink for the day, just makes so much of a difference. And I'm like, oh, okay, that reminded me hand on heart to go and pick up my bottle and drink. So I really enjoy these scales. It does give a more true and accurate representation of your body composition, which I think is key. And it definitely gives me an incentive to want to lose weight. It's helped me to build a better relationship with the scales and be able to step on the scales and see what my weight is and why my weight is. So for example, if it goes up, I'm no longer worried about, oh, it's because I put on so much fat because it's impossible to put on so much fat in a day unless, I don't know, you do a 10k challenge or whatever, but having that accountability is massive as well. Having to weigh in every day obviously breaks down that bad relationship with the scale. So I absolutely love it. Now I stand on it and I read it for what it is, the numbers, uh, the metrics, and yeah, I just absolutely love what it's doing for me at the minute. If you'd like to get some, there's a link in the description below. Use my code L Williams, and that'll give you a discount off your first order. If you're looking to lose weight and need a bit more motivation, definitely try out FitTrack. Could change your life. We've got a session this morning, kicking session, and then sparring this afternoon. So it's already really hot and sweaty in here. The lads have already trained. I'm gonna get this session done. Catch you in a bit. <laughs>
done. I'm back in my bedroom and look, I was such a sweaty session. My legs have gone like jelly. I feel quite dizzy. Very dizzy actually. My legs are like jelly come down the stairs. I still can't breathe. I'm struggling to breathe anyway, like in normal. I'm not even joking, the stairs have tired me out. This isn't even like, this isn't even a joke. My arm, my arms just start shaking. Look, I don't know if you can see it. That's actually really funny. We have a time slot over there, so we have to be out at like a certain time. Um, so I came back to get a shower quick. And then we've got sparring in an hour and a half. And that's it. I'll see you in a mo. I'm absolutely freezing. Just after standing in the ice bath, that was like the hardest sparring session I think I've had in a very long time. Ooh, let me just get used to this cold. Ooh. I can't breathe, hold on. It's time. 4.27. Okay, I'm munching a protein bar. My protein. Link in the description below. I'll surrender jacket. Look at me go. Um, the altitude fully wrote me off this morning, which you already know, because you've been watching this video. <laughs> Hour and a half to just chill, I didn't really get much done, and then we went straight to that session. But I honestly feel like I didn't recover from the altitude, and then as soon as we started, we started with game, which was great, because I got everyone in a great mood. But about 10 minutes into the game, I, my legs were on fire. It's just one of those days. It's not always sunshine rainbows, guys. It's not always fun. It's not always fun, and it's not always kick in and we look great and we feel great like it's not always like that this is one of those days and one of those videos where it's just not like that today everything has just gone i don't know i feel like everything's been a 10 out of 10 today in terms of effort rp everything and that's very tough all the girls are like we've all just ramped up we're all just training really well at the minute which makes it kind of really hard for us all because i don't know we're all doing good in training i'm literally just coming in the ice bath because i took a few knocks then uh, I'm going to work on mum's tonight, excited about it. Catch you in a bit. This is the painful part of the day where I'm going to take my tape off. This is the painful part of the day. We have to take the tape off and it sticks to your skin. Oh, my feet are disgusting, please don't judge. I feel sorry for people who have genuinely hairy legs. Skin always gets so red. People are like, why don't you use under wrap? Because the duration and the type slash nature of our training means that if I was to wear under wrap, which I have done before to be fair to save my skin, but it just comes loose. It makes the whole tape situation just become very loose. We wear pads, foam pads, which collect sweat. I know that sounds disgusting, but they like drip to your ankles. So the tape always ends up absolutely soaking during training and it kind of rips and peels. With under wrap, it, makes the tape a little looser quicker, so I'd rather it just stick straight to my skin and then I know I can get the most protection out of it, most support out of the tape that way. I don't mind it, for a little bit of pain, it's fine. It's literally fine. Oh, did it. Then, the hard part is, now I can only put cream on if I know that I'm gonna have a bath or a shower and specifically scrub my ankles later because otherwise it makes my ankles like it traps in obviously moisture. So I'm gonna retake tomorrow um, before a session. During the session, the moisturizer will like start to come out of my skin and it just loosens all the tape off. So it's kind of like a lose-lose battle. But I'm gonna put some E45 on now because I know I've got nothing for the rest of the day. And I know I'm gonna have a bath later. So it'll all soak out again. Yeah, it's like, these are the little things that people don't realize. <laughs> the little struggles during the day. It's five o'clock. 
this bruise as well. This is the fresh bruise that I got today. This one. It's very sensitive. And I can't believe how quick it's come out, actually. Yeah. Impressive. I still haven't fixed my hair, if you can't tell. I'm gonna go home, freshen up, and catch your wagon mamas. Right, I'm ready, I'm about to leave. I'm absolutely freezing, and I've made zero effort. Like, I'm very much aware of that. This video is actually hilarious. It's starting to make me laugh. I have no idea what I'm gonna get yet, but I, I usually get the vegan udon noodles with, like, both. I don't know why, I just absolutely love it. It's the short rib version, uh, barbecue rib version, I think. So I might get that again, or and be a little bit boring. I might venture out and try something different, I don't know. Um, I'll let you know what I'm missing.